Hello everyone, uh, I am Alan and I am from the Central Manchester campus. Welcome to today's devotional and I would like us to focus on a particular verse from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verses 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Well, this is a scripture of two halves. One half of it is something we do not like doing, which is waiting. And the other half is the promise of what's to come. So that's a beautiful thing. It played a vital role in my life. And I'd like to explain a short bit of how it did. So, uh, as a child, I was very privileged to have beautiful parents and, and a perfect education until my undergrad, which is when I wanted to pursue more. And uh, I, life threw a curveball at me where I lost my dad and I had to take up responsibilities with a different agenda on my plate. And uh, I saw all my friends move out of town, grow into various uh, jobs and educational goals. And I asked myself, Lord, is this going to happen for me? Do I get to pursue what I need to do? Do I, do I get to pursue my master's course, wherever it may be? And I had my plans of my own, but then I had to realign myself to the current situation and I had to take up a responsibility that I never thought I'd ever have. Uh, but there's a beautiful um, silver lining to all of this. Uh, the fact that I was made to wait to get into a position where I can experience God's will and plan for my life in retrospect, made me realize the following message, which is I had to work for about five years before I could pursue my master's education. Uh, in that five years, let me tell you what happens in the waiting, because there are some things we can only learn in the waiting. The dif there is a big difference between a no and a not yet. And it took me a while to understand that's what God was trying to talk to me and trying to tell me that he did not say no to me, he did not deny me, but he was just saying there was a delay, that God's delays are not his denials. That's the message we're going to speak about. Well, uh, today in today's world, we're in such a fast paced environment. Everything's at a click of a button, the snap of a finger. We get texts, we get emails, we can order food, we can call people. We have access to everyone. Everyone has access to all of us. So what we fail to realize is technology has made us a bit impatient. So we lack patience even when it comes to prayers, when we're praying for clarification, when we're praying for healing, when we're praying for a result, when we're praying for a certain situation to be resolved. So when we ask and pray to God, we expect an immediate answer. But let me tell you, no prayer goes unanswered. And just because it isn't answered the way we want it to be answered doesn't mean that it is never answered. But in the waiting, there are certain things that can happen to us. And that is when we lean on the scripture to say to show us that when we wait, the Lord renews our strength. He increases our strength. He gives gives us a sense of tolerance, a humility, a sense of patience, our, our trust in him, our trust in him grows. He increases our faith in him to know that he is in control of every situation and he builds an endurance in our hearts. Because in the waiting, we could feel like it's really difficult. We don't know. We, it's the uncertainty of the future. Maybe something's wrong. Maybe I'm not doing enough. And this doubt that creeps in, which let me tell you, are not valid at all. Because we cannot comprehend the entirety of the situation, whereas God can see the entire picture. He has a better plan. He has a bigger plan. He has all the information, more information than we can understand. He only wants what's best for us. So... When I was in, in a situation of waiting, I, I, I learned from my personal experience and my relationship with God that he helped me grow in faith with him. And uh, he also helped me understand that if I had received everything that I asked for in prayer immediately, I would have treated him nothing like an ATM machine, you know, where I go put in my card and I withdraw some money and that's it. But now... I've, I've understood that God creates a sense of trust. He built a relationship in me and he made me understand that, the, that, that in the waiting, the presence of the storm does not mean that he is absent, but that he is working in the spiritual realm, moving things in your favor, which is good for you, better than what you expected, better than what you and I can ever fathom. So the message for today is if you're praying about something, if you're waiting on something, I want us to continue to persevere with our current resources in this moment uh, and to walk in faith and integrity and put in the work with honesty and sincerity 
and I can assure you that God will, in his time, will utilize all the work that you've invested in that scenario and bring it to fruition in a beautiful light that even you couldn't have pictured or imagined or asked for. And that is what I want to leave us with today, that in the waiting, that we are only improving and getting better and for you not to lose hope, but to expect a promise that is better than anything you could have imagined.